Hey everybody, welcome back to Hey Virginia's channel, and I'm coming back today with a small dice haul. Sorry, it's a very small dice haul, and I'm eating my cookies. I told you, if you've been watching all my videos in order that I've been um, putting them up, I've been like, I'm hungry. And so I went to try those cookies I've been trying to tell you I wanted to try from um, the Night Nights and Storm. I'd be about 55 had said these are like really, really good. I've had them before when I was a kid. I wanted to try them again, and they're so good. I've been eating these. So I'm just showing you now. It's a little uh, lemon creams cookies. And it's a flower and it has a yellow um, little, I guess, filling in it. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get yourself some of these true blue ones. It's the yellow one I'm eating is the yellow one, so I'm assuming these you know brown ones are really good. If you have an nice Mmm. Mmm. So I bought new cards. I had the same, you know, normal pokey dotty colorful envelope. And this is another one you have to pull open. This one, it says, it's called Happy Birthday Gift Card 3. I guess they number all their the items, but. Oh, it's really cute. So it's a square. And it says, Happy Birthday on the side. It looks like a cake with a whole bunch of stuff. How cute is that? It says, happy birthday to you. And then you have you write your little dinky little message right there. How cool. So that is just really neat. So that one is for that one. And I did repurchase some. I'm not showing you. Like, um, if you've been watching other people's friend mails that I've been sending, like, for birthdays, I sent one to... Uh, Kathy from No Guts No Glory, and I also sent one to Think Pink Days for her birthday, and I also sent one to Lily Black for her birthday, so I actually got some of those cards back again just because I like them a lot, and I'll actually be giving those out to other people that I really know in real life, so I wanted to have those on hand for them, so I bought more of those cards. So that's how this one looks like. That's pretty cute. And then I got this happy birthday gift card number five. Let's see what this one is. Open it. Same envelope. Ooh. It looks like chocolate. It looks like a cake. I got these little characters. There's even a little fox on this one. That is so, so cute. I really like this little fox here. He's blue. Oh, wow. So it's like a tiered one. It looks kind of like that, but it's tiered. That is cute. You write your little message on the back. So it goes upside down and you don't see it. That is really, really cute. <laughs> I love these little cards. I wonder how you can, oh, okay, and then it, um, then you open, you take this out and you can, you could probably um, keep it up, standing upright position by removing that little tap, which I'm not gonna do because this is not my card. This card belongs to somebody else or their birthday. Could be you. The next birthday, you never know. It is August coming up now, so. And I just had my birthday in July. It was July 17th. So thank you for some of, of my subscribers that have said happy birthday to me and on Instagram and stuff like that. So it was really nice. It's my first birthday with my child. So I didn't really think of it as my birthday. I was just thinking of it more like, oh, I have a child and it's my birthday. So I was really happy for it. So this one's kind of like the one I gave Lily Black, the green one. So this one says happy birthday. And it comes in a, brie, in a pink envelope. And this is number two. These envelopes are really nice. Nothing on the back. I don't. I haven't opened these, so I'm pretty excited to see what is going to come out. I'm not going to see it yet, so it turns out like that. I love pop-up stuff. Isn't that cute? Is it cute? I haven't looked at it yet, so how does that look to you? Ooh! Yes, this is definitely cute. And the nice thing about it is, like, there's a little card. Since there's no spot to put it, there's a little card here. And then you write your little note on that. Message for you. And I guess you could write, you know, happy birthday with your name on it. So it's your little slot. So that's really cute. Put it in here. Awesome. And that's it for the cards. Um, when I first walked in, I saw these pinwheels. I thought these were beautiful with the pinwheels. These are beautiful, beautiful. You put them in your plants and stuff like that. But uh, I like to get pinwheels for my dad. My dad had passed away over, it's like 14 years ago now. 13 years ago. 
14 years ago. I'm so awful with this. My dad passed away 14 years ago, and I like to put pinwheels up on there. I actually bought those solar uh, solar powered uh, tulips before from the, from the Dollar Tree, and I put them in his little um, his grave at one point. Um, so I like to put like neat things like this. So when it's pretty windy where he's at, so these will be flow, you know blowing. I'll just probably bring one at a time. But these are the clear ones. I thought that was really really cute, and they're like really thin. Um, they look like you know barbecue skewers. So. They're not the best thick one, but I thought these were so cute anyway. And I've never seen these before. I also found um, the matching um, chopstick and spoon and fork in a container that I had given uh, Lily Black for her birthday. And girl, one of these days I'm gonna go, just go ahead and send these to you so it'll match the rest of the Tupperware I had sent you for your uh, birthday gift. So I thought those were cute. I wanted to make sure I get you that. That totally matches their set. Um, along with the kitchen items, I thought these were really, really cool. These are now the silicone um, mug covers, and the thing, the difference with these are they're really, really pretty. This is a flower with like this, with this blinged out diamond tip. I thought that was really, really pretty, and this is purple. This is a pink one. And the last one is, uh, this is a different kind. It looks like it's just kind of geometric. And they look a little bit larger than this size. Is it the same? I don't know. Well, it's more circular, so I thought that was pretty. And this also has a little um, diamond, but a little wider. So this can be the package. I found an iPhone 6 cover. They had some other ones before, but these are hard. But I've never seen this one with the purple with the heart. Or, yeah, the heart where the camera would be would be here, and then this little design for the apple. I thought that was really pretty. I don't use these covers, but I might. I, the cover I use is like a wallet style. I like to put my credit cards in mine, so I use mine more like a wallet. I only found one set of stickers, and these are not for me. I thought these were really, really cute. And I'm sending this to somebody. I thought these were adorable. For her friend mail. I like them because there's like all these little western, like, cat stuff. And it reminded me of her when I saw them, so. Um, she could also use these as pocket letters, you know, cut these out because they look like they're sectioned off. But they look really large for pocket letters, so I don't know. It might work out for something. You could always cut them out. That's so cute. And I found, okay, I found the chalk writers. Um, hey Mama Kay had sent me all the ones that she had at her Dollar Tree from hers, and they don't sell, I had never seen these at our Dollar Tree, but I saw them at Daiso. And they had all the ones that you gave me except for this one, and it's orange. So I picked this one up. That's interesting, huh? I don't know how these work out yet, but because um, I haven't even opened the ones you've tried, you've given me yet, uh, Crystal. So I'm gonna go and try this out and see how this works. And I'm excited about finding this color. Now I found um, here's some duct tape. I had sent. I got the purple polka dot pink ones before, and this actually looks like this one. And I sent this to uh, somebody as their friend mail that um, this one and also this one. So um, they had another color. I can't remember. I'm so dumb when I think about colors, but um, they have this duct tape in this design too. So yes, I bought this as part of all. And um, I got this one, mint and yellow. I found this, they've had this for a while, never picked it up, but I'm giving this to spread mail. It's this duct tape and it's really thick. It's about an inch, I would say, an inch and a fourth wide. And there's two in this one. I thought that's a pretty good deal for $1.50. The rest of these are all friend meal stuff. I bought all these things from Daiso and they're not anything for me, which is great because I can just give them out. These are all like uh, friend meal items. Um, so these are all nail stuff. Uh, I had sent um, Jamie a whole bunch of nail things already, so she might have some of these already, but this is for another person. So I picked up these, um, I picked up this nail dot stick. Um, and um, I found a whole bunch of jewels. And I thought they were really, really pretty. This is nail jewelry parts. So that's really, really cute. I don't do my nails like that. You see, you see me, I'm just using stickers. <laughs> and if anything, my stickers are already falling off and I just done them today. I got that, that one. I also got her these that you can put on your tips or pink with the, uh, the hearts. And they're really, really tiny. You just use it at the tips of your nails at the right where the line goes. I thought that's really cool. And this one, I thought these were beautiful. I've never seen these before. They're stars. And they're really, 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 really small. 
It is so pretty. If I had the patience to do this, I would. And for her to use these, I bought her the tweezers to hold all the little nail art stuff on. I mean, how are you going to put any of these things in without tweezers? Especially these are so tiny. I've never seen it. I just thought the stars were so beautiful. I always put one on the side. And I also got her these like uh, mini nail art brushes or you know, precise looking. So I thought that she could use that. So I didn't find any containers. They didn't have any. They're very scarce this time, but I did pick up a tray and the tray is going to be for my bathroom um for the baby's bathroom because we wash his bottles and we also have the formula in there at the same time and this formula is you know it's powdery and stuff and it gets out all over the counter so i thought maybe just put it here so every time i'm going to put it it won't get so dirty and it's sticky i guess too so um, when it's moist in there um since it's been so humid it gets stuck to the it's just really gross i mean formula always smells funky too anyway so i'd rather have something to protect it from getting all over my white countertop so that's it for my Daiso Japan haul um, like I said it was very small I just need to get this out of the way um, I only wanted I went there just to go find a whole bunch of stuff for friend mails that I can go ahead and send out because I'll be sending out pretty soon so that's all I have for you today please like share and subscribe and I'll see you again for another haul bye